What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction video and I'm excited to get back to hearing some more of Pocky Sharma. Uh, but India toughens nuclear posture with an eye on China. Before we dive into this, make sure you guys subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, and let's dive right in. We begin tonight with a riddle. What can prevent wars, but also destroy our planet? The answer nukes. is nukes. Nuclear Literally. weapons. They have changed the dynamics of geopolitics. They've made our world safer and more dangerous at the same time. So True. tonight we're looking at India's nuclear policy. What shaped it? Is it changing? And why mm -hmm. is it changing? But first, some context. In 1998, our neighborhood changed forever. India and Pakistan conducted nuclear tests. They announced themselves as nuclear powers. The world was shocked. Bill Clinton was US president back then. He called South Asia the most dangerous place on earth. It's been more than two decades now. India has exercised its power responsibly. But its nuclear posture is changing. Oh. Let me pull up a new military report. It tracks the number of nuclear warheads that each country has. India has 172 warheads, 172. Oh, wow. Now, this is a very important number. Pakistan has 170. Since 1998, Pakistan has always had more nukes than India. Just look at these graphs. In 2001, India had around 32 nukes and Pakistan had around 36. By 2005, oh, Pakistan's wow. arsenal increased to 40. India was at 35. From 2005 to 2015, Pakistan's arsenal grew three times, from 40 to 120. And India's, from 35 to 110. As Dang. you can see, India was always behind Pakistan. This changed in the latest report. So, like, India said, hey, we don't pass up Pakistan. So, they've been kind of, I guess, having that rivalry and who has the most nukes. For a while, and that girl, they've always been close to each other, except in like sometimes on a graph where Pakistan has just got a decent amount more. But other than that, India's always caught back up and been very close, but never actually surpassed them until now. Now they've surpassed India. I mean, surpassed Pakistan. Now, who's up next? China. Now they, I mean, they got a long way to go to get to China, but they got their eyes on the prize. Pakistan's arsenal did not expand in the last year, but India seems to have added eight warheads. It's a catchy fact, isn't it? India overtakes Pakistan's nuclear arsenal. But that's not the story here. Pakistan's nuclear policy still remains the same, and that is to deter India. But India's policy has evolved. It uh -huh. is now focused more on China than Pakistan. Yes. Beijing is the third largest nuclear power in the world. They have 410 nuclear warheads, more than twice India's arsenal. So India's nuclear expansion is not directed at Pakistan. It's more about deterring China. Ah. And there are three aspects to this. The first is obviously the sheer numbers. India's arsenal has expanded 72% since 2014. 72% growth. The second is delivery. India can fire a nuke from the sea, land, and air. Many of our fighter jets are nuclear capable, like the Mirage, Jaguar, and Rafals. They can fire nukes from the sky. Then you have land-based missiles, the short-range Prithvi-2 and Agni-1, the medium-range Agni-2, and the intermediate-range Agni-3 and 4 missiles. A new version of the Agni missile was tested in April, it's lighter than the previous ones. And finally, you have the sea-based launchers. I'm talking about submarines Jeez. like INS Arihan. They can fire nukes from the sea. Now, the point of these capabilities is quite simple. Say your enemy strikes first. They destroy your land-based nuclear missiles. Yeah. How will you hit back? In this case, with your sea-based missiles. So the idea is to have more My options God. in case you're attacked. Which brings us to the third... That does make sense. I mean, you pray that it doesn't get to the point that anybody has to use any nuclear missiles. Pray that every country keeps them locked away, right? Because, I, oh, Jesus. Nuclear weapons start getting used. The world over. The world gonna be over, dog. So you just pray. You pray that nobody uses these nukes and that they're just there to deter each other from starting or from anyone using them 
basically. Uh, but so India's past in Pakistan, really, they wasn't worried about. It. It's not like they weren't competing with Pakistan in passing them. India's focus is China. You feel me? Expanding their nuclear uh, abilities to, it seems like, catch up with China more so because that's the imminent threat to them right now. They're their most prioritized threat. It's like Pakistan passing them, cool, but that's not what we're really focused on. We're more, fo we're more so focused on China. The aspect of India's strategy, and that is war preparedness. Usually, India keeps its nukes and launchers separately, sort of like keeping the bullets away from the gun. But reports say that could be changing. India oh. is now putting its missiles inside canisters, basically loading the gun. Experts think that this could be a more aggressive posture, a sign of more readiness. Now, we've seen political indications of that. In 1999, India announced a no-first-use policy, meaning India will only use nuclear weapons if hit by another nuclear weapon. Okay. India won't fire the first shot. That was the policy. But recently, Indian leaders have suggested a rethink. Like Defence oh. Minister Rajnath Singh. Look at his statement in 2019, I'm quoting, India has strictly adhered to the no first use doctrine. What happens in future depends on the circumstances. Oh, wow. That's what the Defense Minister of India said in 2019. The circumstances have changed since then. India and China clashed in 2020. Both sides lost dozens of soldiers. And Jesus. since then, it's been a staring contest. India has deployed more than 50,000 soldiers in Ladakh. China, too, has a similar number there. Has this new equation forced a rethink in New Delhi? We haven't heard anything yet. But like all policies, a country's nuclear policy also evolves. Nukes have deterred countries from attacking India. But they come at a cost. The cost of an arms race and instability. So it will be a tough call for India's leadership. Yeah, you just, you pray that nothing happened, that all the nukes never get used is what, I mean, that's what everybody prays for. And it seems like India is, I, they had that policy where we're not going to be the ones to strike first. We will strike if somebody does strike against us, but we won't strike first. But that might be changing depending on the circumstances. It seems like tensions with India and China are ever growing and you just pray that that it doesn't tip. I don't know that they can figure this out diplomatically. They can talk through and, and, and figure this one out. But that's all we have for this video. Let me know what you guys say in the comment section. And if you enjoyed that reaction video, make sure to check this one out as well. It's your boy D. Neil out.